Okay, this is the electrical setup for it. Coming out of the positive here, this is positive and it runs over to the secondary battery on that side. The negative is over there, it is not connected unless it's needed. Coming back to the battery post here, the uh, second one here is going down into the, the fuse box for the truck. This one here is going down to the starter motor and this is the hot wire that's coming into the block for all the electronics on the vehicle, the accessories. It just jumpers across right here. This is the main hot line. It goes down, comes into the solenoid on the inside, input side, which is going to be your plus. On the other side of the solenoid is your output. That when the solenoid is activated, the power comes out, goes into this electrical circuit here that has inline trip fuses here. <laughs> the other side of the solenoid, this black one is a negative, it's going down to this block down here which is the ground. This side here goes to your uh, ignition which is the switch that's underneath the dash that gives it power to this. So under the ignition or the switch that's on there, one side of it is direct to the battery the other side is to the ignition switch. When that is tripped and power comes from the positive side, goes through the switch, comes over here, gives this power, turns on or switches the solenoid on, which it now gives power to the electronics inside the truck. All right, coming off of the main hotline here like I said this goes to the, the relay for all the stuff in the cab it also goes across to this bar which is also hot this one here which is the orange which is positive it has a black wire and a green one the black wire and green are ground they connect down here at the bottom to the ground block the orange wire goes down underneath the truck goes to the back of the truck up through the truck bed and it feeds the hot wire for the foam units. This will need to be disconnected anytime you take the skid unit off. The secondary line right here, as you see, this goes down the truck, it's on a breaker there, goes down the truck and then it goes to the power for the uh, lights on the headache rack, the, the rear spotlights. Okay, now when the relay trips, the hot wire here comes into these fuse blocks here, and then each one of them go to a different thing. One will go to the radio, the siren, and so on. These all go underneath the um, underneath the dash to the console, and that's basically the wiring for that. Um, like I said, this black wire right here is coming off. This is the one that goes underneath the truck to the spotlights on the rack. You've got a white one which is positive going to the breaker, and then the black going to the ground on this ground box here. Um, this one here, I take it back. This one here is going to the other side of the switch underneath the dash. So this is direct hot right here. Uh, when uh, the switch is in the auxiliary mode using battery only. Uh, by doing that, the power comes from here, goes across here, jumps across here, down to here, here, still hot, and it's going to be going to the switch on the auxiliary side. So if the truck is turned off and you're not on the ignition power, then you can back it up using this right here. Okay. The switch underneath the dash there that says uh, ignition, that wire for the hot to get this relay on is up underneath the dash on a hot wire. So when the ignition is turned on, it gets hot to it, goes to the switch. From the switch, it comes down and it goes into the positive side right here of the uh, solenoid.
under the dash you can see you got a switch so when it's on battery which is the one i showed you battery this gives it power direct for, for your radios this is a neutral position which there's no power at all to the radio or console and then when it's in the down position this is the power when you turn on the ignition switch or turn it to auxiliary which will give power to the relay the relay will kick on and give power to all of the radios and stuff back here as you can see here each of the wires are numbered and each one goes to a different thing to the siren to the radio to the cb to the electrical box up there uh, which is on this big line right here it has two hot wires on it right here it's split so it gives more power it will go into the switch box so that's the power to that switch box which gives the power coming out of it on these lines right here to the light bar which has your your rotary light your flasher lights your uh, left uh, alley light your front takedown light, lights and your right side alley lights and they're all coming out of this uh, switch control box um, the black wire behind here the big black wire here see if I can turn this on the big black wire right there is going to the light bar this is coming out of your switch box down and power going up to the uh, um, the um, circuit breakers up underneath the dash I mean up underneath the hood that's the main hot wire going into your switch box again it comes out here all these ones here go to different things on the light bar you got your your uh, rotary lights your flasher your amber flashers in the rear your right alley light your takedown lights and your right side alley lights Coming around to the other side of the truck. Up here is your, um, this here is your hot jumper wires on the right side. And then each one of these goes to either CV, to your radio, to your siren. And down here is your negative. This one here is going to your CB, to the CB antenna, which comes underneath there to the CB. This other one is going to your radio, your high band. Okay, the high band radio. Is located right there, which the wires go under the seat here, and then here is your three CVs. Okay.